to get some of the uh, preliminary sketch out of there in the proportion. And again, find the heavy outlines, try to find the object lines first. Building that section up. Again, use the uh, straight edge when necessary to help you. Give it a thickness to it, to the blade. Build that section up. You can see the uh, wood grain in this particular one, or the heel. And a different metal texture. When you do the laces, that's the harder part. Just sketch them in, then use a little bit of the eraser to help you uh, find that piece. So right about here is where it's the shading of this is. Listed in here. Wraps around here. And bring it right down the middle so you can actually shade right underneath the, in this case, the leather for the tongue. Go right over the laces, don't worry about them. this off. And just using a little bit, even if you took some of this to smudge it a little bit. And then taking a look at the uh, outside edge of these pieces for the Grommets. Something like that. Kind of just a U shape. <coughs> and you can kind of see the eraser just kind of highlighting the smudge line right there. And then it goes on to the other side. And that creates the perfect highlight. That allows me to illustrate. The other side of it. right up the side here in this shaded section. So it almost is just a pattern that lines itself up. And wraps around. This means start to see the other details of the seam wood fits in right here. And this line here for the seam. <coughs> Same here. So this is kind of a detail too. You can pick up where the laces aren't draw beneath it this time, then go back in and highlight that part right there.
it's just a matter of going in just a little bit more with some detail. So when you do this part that has the seam, you can kind of almost give it a dotted line. back in with the real rich dark for the for the wooden part. The, so you have like three different textures, the lead <coughs> on the pencil, but also with the leather, this wooden section, and the metal. Yeah. 